You are great, yes, you are holy one. Walked upon the sea, raised the dead. Reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you is great. You are Action. great. Glory be to God. My dearly beloved brothers and sisters, I want to welcome you to the month of August, the eighth month of the year 2022. God in his mercies has taken us through seven months already. And we have five months to go this year. Glory and glory and honor and all adoration be to the almighty God. We must continue to thank God, brethren, because as you can see, the world is at a very very difficult time now and for God to take us from month to month day to day he deserves continuous glory so that as we thank him for what he has done in the past he will then do much more for us uh, in the future so I welcome you with joy in my heart to the month of August 2022 our theme for the month of August for our church our CCG the King's Palace here in Texas simply says greater works Jesus had promised us that the work that he did, we will do also. But then he promised that greater works than he did, we shall do because he has gone to be with the Father. And believe in the Almighty God that this will become our reality, even for the rest of this year, as we you know, continue to seek opportunities to serve the Lord. Bread and he pays to serve God. The only thing worth living for in our days and time is serving the Lord and serving him faithfully. I therefore want to pray for you straight away that that grace for greater works, greater grace for greater works will come upon every one of us this month and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. This month also on the 30th of August, it will be exactly two years that God started us with the vision, Midnight Cry for Revival. And so every day for two years, God has strengthened us to pray for revival every midnight for one hour. And I want to let you know that God still answers prayers. We are not done praying for revival. I just want to welcome those who have not been part of it in the past to please be part of it. The world we live in now needs revival. We need revival in America. Nigeria needs revival. Angola needs revival. Europe needs revival. All over the world, what the answer to the barrage of trouble Plague in this world is revival. And I'm believing God as we cry to God. We are the voice God is waiting to hear from. We say, if my people, the one who are called by my name, if only they will humble themselves, cry to him, repent of their sin, forsake their evil, evil ways, and they pray and cry to him, he said, he will hear from heaven, heal our land. Brethren, I welcome you midnight every day. You may not be able to do it every day, but maybe it's twice in a week that you can do your voice will you know join the voice of every other person in the meeting and the cry we go to god i also want you to know that the children's church will be having the children's week please let's support them they are starting tuesday the 16th of august i think they're going to have a friday event and then a grand finale on sunday you know the 21st let's be part of what is going on in the lives of our children as a church we will never cease praising god because it has been so so good to us. I welcome you to the month of August. I don't want to live without praying for titans and givers and those that God has been using to move his work forward at the King's Palace. The Almighty God will continue to bless you. Oh, you will not lose your reward. The heavens will open. Blessings will flow down that you won't have enough room, even as he has promised to contain in the mighty name of Jesus. To so everyone who is part of this family, either in the virtual church, or you're just even a friend of the church, or you come here in person, in whatever way you are related to the King's Palace of RCCG, I pray for you that every day you will wake up in joy and you will go to bed in joy. You will never know sorrow. Depression will not be your, your, your portion. No sickness, no disease will plague you or any member of your family in the name of Jesus. It is convention year for RCCG all over the world, and it's a very special one this year. The 78th convention of RCCG is also the 48th edition 
of convention at the redemption camp in Nigeria. The theme is perfect jubilee. I want you to tune in. If you can't go to Lagos, Nigeria to be part of it in person, make sure you join, you know, every day. You will run from the 8th of August, you know, all the way to the 14th of August. It will be a great time of fellowship. Let's uphold our Father and the Lord in prayer that the Lord will strengthen him more and more, that the Lord will encourage him more and more together with, with Mommy Jew and every pastor of RCCG that our joy will be full. The Lord will renew the anointing at the dawn of perfect jubilee in the name of Jesus. I welcome you to the month of August, the hate month of this year. It's a new beginning of joy for you, new beginning of peace, of miracles, signs and wonders, of blessings, of answers to prayers in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Walked upon the sea, wasted as 